Double Dragon. It's your boy, hey man. It's your boy, like it. back with some new heat for y'all today. Like I never left. You heard what she said. What's up, Fire Nation? How y'all doing? Can't put, can't put the flame out. Y'all yeah, keep the flame hot. You know That's a hot. That's But yeah, man, we heard about this new basketball anime coming out. Talking about, what's it called? A Hero? It looks it's like it's A Hero No Sora. A Hero No Sora. As you mm -hmm. all know, we reacted to the Kuroko No Basque Tons seasons, of all episodes on YouTube. Movie on Patreon. The movies on Patreon. You know Check it out. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? We might end up dabbling in a slam dunk. We heard a lot of people talk about slam dunk. We might dabble into that later on. But we seen this video. We didn't watch it yet. It just says the next big basketball anime is coming. So we're trying to look and see if it's going to be anything close to Kuroko. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to have to judge and compare. Because I feel like they got a big shooter feel. With Kuroko, bro. Because Kuroko is crazy. Huh? Wait, what? What's up with this dance you're doing? I was dancing. Why are you talking? Yeah, man. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it looked funny because you got the pink shades. So you just like. <laughs> <laughs> Mom's going to cut it up, make it a easy video. Right. It's going to be a uh, gift. Yeah, man. It's pretty much another basketball anime. Yeah. You got to bring some heat. We had different special abilities. We had freaking villains. Well, not really villains, but we had opponents. And it, it was just a deep, deep story with deep, like, I like I like, I like like special moves. I like special moves. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So and you, a story, too. So you cool with it not being, Kuroko not being as realistic as, say, Haikyuu or, like, Diamond Noise? If it... If it has a good story, then I'm then I'm definitely cool with it. But yeah. man, I can't sit here and hate and, and like sit here and not say that I didn't enjoy Zone. Zone didn't deep. enjoy these different type of moves. You know what I'm saying? I enjoyed them. Man, yeah, like, drive, like, you know what I'm saying? I enjoyed like, those. So like, I don't know what they gonna be bringing to this dynamic. You know? We don't know if it's gonna be, you know, powers or it's like gonna be fiction realistic. or nonfiction. Yeah. pretty much because Kuroko was technically like I want to say it was technically nonfiction to like a little bit. Outside of zone, and just people just freaking. I mean, There's a lot moves. of moves that they had, right? But they they had to like spaz it up. Yeah. But it's like I don't know because Hugo basically had the hard step back. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So his move, you could kind of be like, okay, they, you know what I'm saying. But him vanishing back there, you know what I'm saying, it was kind of weird. But like, like, like the only person now, I'd be like, okay, that's just unreal. Probably Mitarima <laughs> shots from half court. I mean, yeah. for full court. Yeah. Me All right, come on, bro. Like, even Steph Curry ain't hit, hit like that, bro. Right. Like, this man got Steph Curry on his phone just, <laughs> like, get out of here, buddy. Like, huh? Well, yeah, it was a lot of, uh, like, Kagami jump. I mean, people jump from the free throw. Like, right. I think he That's, jumped. like, there's nothing really. Yeah. Outside of the zone, like, thunder around him. Of course, that's just probably anime. Well, Kuroko whole kit, though. Him with the vanishing shot. But was he really vanishing, though? He was just going off your eye movements and disappearing. That's, that's kind of true. Same thing with, like, um, Akashi's, like, crossing people. He probably was just crossing them. He probably was just crossing them. But it looked like they just, like, zombies, like, uh, they just fall. People like, do that in the NBA all the time. People get their ankles broken. Yeah, but, like, I but, can't see nothing, nothing besides Mitarima's. Wow, I mean, freaking um, who the center? What's the center name? Miss Like Bar. Him t pulling a tornado out of his booty, like where the <laughs> tornado coming from? Like yeah. Anyway, the effects of it though showed a lot of special powers. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Which is cool. We over exaggerated that. them. Yeah, but we also enjoy realistic stuff like High Q, and that we heard Slam Dunk was. So we got to yeah. try that one out. But I'm interested to see what path they take with this new basketball anime that's coming. So. We haven't seen this video. It's four minutes long. We don't know what they're talking about, but we just want to get some insight on it and see if we can see some type of character or some type of, you know, pictures or something that's coming up. So, you ready to get into it? Yes, let's run it up. Okay. Mm. Mm. What's up? Two out of three of those we've seen. Ahiro no Sora. Ahiro no Sora. Oh, okay. I'm like calling this the next big basketball anime. Just how big are we talking about? So if you've been to any anime merchandise related stores in Japan in the last...
last 10 years, you would know that sports anime are a huge deal in Japan. Mm. The manga ranked up over 27 million copies sold by 2014. Look how messy. Damn, how one? I think we can all agree that those two are the biggest sports anime slash manga series. Hey, we reacted to both of them if you didn't know. And they're finished. What? It's like that, huh? So we're basically looking at a basketball series that is similar in popularity to the biggest sports animes to have come out in the last decade. But enough about the numbers. Is that the main character? You look kind of cold. Mm -hmm. Now to start off, if you're expecting another Kuroko where every character has insane ridiculous powers that make absolutely no sense, this isn't it. Okay. It's more about the characters and the drama surrounding them. So it's taking a high Q approach. Mm -hmm. more along the lines of high Q because right off the bat, the main character is a 15 year old who is only 149 centimeters. Again, another short person. But he is completely in love with the game of basketball. So he joins basketball club despite the club being comprised of two terrifying twins. But they eventually build their club to twins? a decent size and struggle to climb towards such a pride. Look at these characters. The characters that drive the series. So if you're a fan of IQ or a fan of sports anime in general, this is definitely a must watch. So starting with the main character, Sora, he's really, really short, so. but as we quickly learn, he makes it up with extremely hard work. A thousand shots a day in practice, I think most of them mm. three pointers, to make up for the fact that height for him is such a glaring weakness. But he's also got some decent handles. Okay. As a reference, Steph Curry currently shoots about 500 shots per day during the offseason. Short. Crazy handles. What position would you give him in 2K already? What type of archetype? Short, crazy handles? Playmaker. That's it? I mean, with his shooting ability, playmaking sharp. Mm. 200 to 350 a day during the regular season. The first volume was released in 2004, so this guy is definitely not based on Steph Curry or the current three-pointers meta that's going on in the NBA. Mm. I think this came before three-point shot became as important as it is. But don't worry, Dang. because this isn't going to be an anime about a short Steph Curry making impossible shots all day long. Okay. The characters are OP like they are in Kuroko, and everyone has their weaknesses, so it's going to be more grounded in reality. And so, if you're an NBA fan, this one will definitely be more of an enjoyable watch. If you're looking for something... You remind me of the dude of you hockey show? Yeah. Except he got yellow hair. is Momoharu, who is the basketball team captain. He has excellent jumping abilities, which allows him to do some serious dunking. He creates plays. Also, Kagami? That's what it seemed like. But because of his poor spatial recognition, he's also a poor shooter, which led him to give up on basketball for a while when he was younger. Chiaki, who is his twin brother, that looked nothing like him. Right. Exactly. Basketball when he was younger, thanks to Somebody lied. Mm -hmm. Then we got a whole bunch of other unique characters, with some of you being completely used to the sport, no team sport anime so. can be written without a main girl protagonist that supports the team being Madoka, who sort of immediately swings over after the first time they meet. The premise may seem typical and a little cliche at the beginning, but like Haikyuu, the characters and the execution of the events in the story is what really makes it interesting. And here is where Ahiro no Sora really excels. The manga has already entered its final arc earlier this year in 2019. Dang. And with the manga having gone on for almost 15 years, there's plenty of material. Really? 15 I've never heard anything about so this. It does grow as big as the Kuroko or Haiku anime, which I'm definitely expecting it to get to, seeing the manga numbers are already there with the help of the anime. We're definitely going to be seeing the Kuroko Sora around for a while. Anyways, how excited are you for finally getting another basketball anime? That's true. This will be better than Kuroko. As usual, let me know down in the comments below. That's crazy. Yeah, first off, appreciate you making a video, man. Letting yeah, everybody man. know about this next big thing coming to Thanks. all the anime watchers. Yeah, man. So, I guess we seen Kuroko. We seen Haku. We didn't see Slam Dunk. But it seemed like it's more along Slam Dunk and Haku. Yeah, it's, def it's definitely probably taking a high Q approach. You know what I'm saying? Well, Haku was short. You know what I'm saying? He had to make up for... Oh, the skill and hard work. Yeah. yeah, Hinata was short. He had to yeah. make up for like skill and stuff like that too. And then like the the the, the girl kind of remind me of the uh, the manager girl. Yeah, the uh, the manager from high from um, high Q high Q as well. Yeah. Then they had the captain dude. It's kind of like Kagami. It seemed like it's yeah. like they mixing high Q and Kuroko. 
trying to take pieces and stuff from here. But yeah. I'm not sure which one was started first because they said it's been out for 15 years. Yeah, I think those started first, though. I think uh, Kuroko and um, Q started first. Mm. But these got almost the same amount of copies, so without the help of, like, an anime. Like, there's no anime True. on it. And it still got, uh, like, 20-something million copies or whatever. I wonder why. The story, the story, the story must be pretty yeah. uh, deep. And, uh, yeah. I'm mm-hmm. looking forward to it. If it's anything like High Q mm-hmm. with, the, with the character development and the um, action and stuff. Like, even with, like, Ace of Diamond. Like, Ace of yeah. Diamond still does that same thing where it's not, like, super unrealistic. Right. But the characters is funny. If it has the comedy, like, this has the potential, like, to be good. Will it surpass Kuroko? You want to give an early? You want to give an early uh, statement on that? Then we can come back to it in the future. I'm gonna just go ahead and say that it won't. Okay, I'm gonna say it's not either. Yeah, because I don't know. Because I, I can understand the story. You know what I'm saying? Story, story is good, but I, it's yeah. like, yeah. Kuroko's gonna be tough to beat, bro. In but my like, eyes, the character designs. I'm already looking at them. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not. I'm not going against them, but but it's like you know what I'm saying. I'm gravitated more towards Kuroko. I'm gravitated more towards Kuroko. But I haven't seen the story. Haven't seen the action. Haven't seen yeah. how everything plays out. So hey, I'm not writing it off. We so, could be but, yeah. wrong. You know what I'm saying? We could be wrong. But yeah. we wanted to check this out. You know what I'm saying? I think it was pretty cool. And looking forward to this in the future, man. If y'all rock with it, let us know in the comments. You know what I'm saying? If y'all heard about this before. You know what I'm saying? Or if y'all read the manga or whatever or the manga. You know what I'm saying? Like. Hey, I think there's going to be some heat. There's something to look forward to. So We'll see. We'll see. We'll see y'all again in the next video, man. Double Jacket out. Peace. Deuces. Okay, like-